So now we've connected the uh, Rico app on the iPad to the camera, but we need to set up the camera with the right exposure characteristics for the photography that we want to do. Um, so in this case, it starts off, uh, everything's in automatic mode. And the first thing I'm going to do um, is go and set uh, the, uh, the camera to manual. Um, the reason I do this is because the less, the, the more consistency be, be, between the photographs that we have, the better for the virtual tour. It makes it all seem like it's the same, same 3D space. So I'm setting it to manual so that we have the same exposure settings for every photograph that we take. Um, the other thing I want to do is make sure that there's as little grain and the images are as clear as possible. So based on the lighting conditions here, I've, I'm going to choose a ISO 200, nice low ISO to minimize the amount of amplification of the image. Um, I'm also going to go and set the shutter speed to here. I've got it set to 1 15th, um, which is fine because we're staking still images. There's no movement, so uh, it's going to look fine uh, regardless of the uh, of the speed. So we'll take a nice slow image. Obviously, if we're in a hurry, we could choose uh, a higher ISO and a faster shutter speed and get the same result, but it'll be a bit more grainy. It really depends on the time we have available. And now the white balance, at the moment it's set to auto, I'm going to move it to one of the incandescent settings um, so that we can uh, we get something that's, a, again, consistent. If we have automatic white balance, it might vary during the, 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 the photo shoot and we want it to stay basically the same uh, for each shot. So now we're ready. Uh, the camera's set up. We're actually going to go ahead and start our shoot.